Hey guys, this is just a quick heads up that you can actually use your wireless VR heads head using your regular USB link cable using ALVR and it doesn't matter whether it is the Quest or the Pico, both works fine. Um, all you really need is a cable like you'd do normally on the Windows or with the official software and then we go to the computer. So on the computer it's pretty simple to do. Obviously first of all you have to make sure that ALVR is set up and everything as I explained in the other video. And then you can either go the terminal route, which works as soon as you have ADB installed, be it under Linux or Windows, and type in ADB forward TCP9943, like so. You have to type it in twice. And maybe be forward TCP9944 also twice. So it forwards the computer port to a port on the headset. Or you can use a tool that simplifies it like this ADB pour water from Atlas the Proto that's archived and there's no longer an active development. You see the last commit was three years ago. But um, really all it does is the same. It runs in the background once executed. You have to download the archive, extract it. And for whatever reason you need a mono here. But um, I have no idea why actually. Um, The contents of the um, archive will, when extracted, look something like this. Just double click the ADB pour water file, the executable that is, and there you go. And, that's, and that will basically do the same as the command I've shown you just before. And then go to ALVR launch so you're here and what you wanna do actually at least that's what I have done go to edit and next to the IP of your headset inside your Wi-Fi network also add the um, I, the IP for your local host uh, the computer's local host or any network machines local host really that is before before version that is anyways 127.001 uh, that is because of the loopback device that gets created by an um, adb and once that's done you can ignore this because we go now to the headset um steam vr is running as you can see here now inside the headset you can see here I'm not connected to anything. This thing is totally offline. And this works with both the Quest and Pico as mentioned. Let's go to your ALVR client, open it. And here it will say IP0000. Don't type this and just type in the um, 127.0.0.1. And here you are in uh, SteamVR. Works wonderfully. And here you see my Steam VR stuff and everything, and you can just play. Pretty nice over USB. And yeah. That's it, really. Here's a little thing I want to give you on the way, though. If you like me, also use the um, link cable that came with your Quest. That's a USB 2 cable, 
and that looks fine for me. However, um, might turn down the bit worries that gets pushed over the uh, connection because USB 2, as you probably know, isn't as efficient as um, newer USB 3 cables. And thus, go to video, go to bitrate, and set it to something that's usable for you. In my case, actually, I did this because I had stutters when um, playing Pathlop otherwise. And so I set it to 20 Mbits. That's fine for me. It's, it looks a little blocky sometimes because it has to compress the video signal, the video stream that is, but I'm fine with that. If you have a newer one with USB 3 speeds, you probably can go up to 50. But yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you guys afterwards, and I hope that also helps someone. See you around.